Hello! I wanted to show you my preferred drying method with my herbs. Now, I prefer to use brown paper bags for my plants when I dry them. I accidentally came upon that. I did used to bind them and hang them up to slow dry but I got a lot of debris from that. Little little crumbles would fall down, little leaves, little bits and pieces. And not only was that uh, messy, but it was wasteful of the plant. So I one time I just shoved it all in a brown paper bag and it worked better. Also the brown the the paper itself uh, acts as a um, method for pulling moisture out of the plant so that helps with drying as well so when I have my uh, plants my cuttings that you saw earlier in the earlier video uh, what I would normally do is I will microwave them for 2 to 30 seconds and make sure that all of the uh, little hitchhikers and spiders, worms, bugs, all of those things are, are dead. And then I shake the plants out real good. And then I wash them. I rinse them lightly. And then I pat them dry with a towel. And then some of the plants I will chop up, like my sage. I cut this up so it would dry quicker. Something that I found with my last bunch of, well, a couple of bunches of my sage, was that the leaves would dry quickly, but the stems didn't. So I decided I would, I would just cut it all up and put it in the bag. So... This is my method for drying. Now, if you wanted to use an oven or a dehumidifier or what is it called? A dehydrator. A dehydrator. If you wanted to do that, that's fine. If you had an area, uh, I have seen them online where it's a screen where you can distribute your uh, cuttings over the top and slowly air dry them. That's an excellent method because what you want to do is you really want to slow dry these plants because you want to concentrate the vitamins, the minerals, everything. You want to concentrate it into what's left of the plant. So slow drying is a perfect method for that. As you know from my other video, I use uh, a fan for my big batches of leaves from my Lactuca varosa and Cereola. I just spread my leaves out and have a, a fan blowing on low. So there's many methods that you can use for drying your plants. So I wanted to show you that it's, it's just so simple. You just throw everything in the bag. Now I have a marker over here <coughs> where I label all my bags and I just fold it down and I just put a binder clip on it. As you can see, I've got some clothespins on these right here. Um, so you can see I've got them all lined up. I'll just keep them out over actually in a corner where I have all my drying bags lined up so that I can check on them regularly but I did want to show you that you know this kind of of living this kind of choice for doing these things on your own it really doesn't take a lot of effort uh, I went out and cut these today um, I uh, like I said, I microwave the plants, each of the plants, <clears throat> for about 15 seconds. Um, I just wanted to make sure I've got some woolly aphids that have been flying around in my yard. That's why I wanted to make sure there were no bugs on them. So 
I microwaved them about 15 seconds as I got them out. I would rinse them. I patted them dry. Then I chopped them up and I put them in each bag. Now I will set these to the side and when probably three days to a week, I will look in there and there will be these wonderful dried plants. Now also I'd like to say that my house has smelled absolutely wonderful today. This is this is just very fragrant. But you can do this yourself in just a very small amount of area, a small amount of time, a small amount of effort, but you get a really big payback because these are plants you know where they came from you know they're that they're good plants and you get to put them in your food and it enriches your health it enriches your life so i did just want to show you that real quickly and again i hope you're having a wonderful weekend and i'll see you later bye bye